Hi, Pat Higgins. Um, I want to talk a little bit about viewing conditions and how that changes the film that we watch. I don't just mean that we're more likely to enjoy a movie if we see it under fairly good conditions. I mean that we actually experience a completely different film if we see it under certain circumstances. The example I want to take is Paranormal Activity. Now, when Paranormal Activity came out of the cinema, loads and loads of people said it was one of the scariest movies ever made. There were people leaving screenings genuinely shaken, genuinely freaked out. I don't think the years have been kind to the reputation of Paranormal Activity, and I think that's largely because, obviously, since its cinema run, it's largely been experienced on home media. Now, if you're watching Paranormal Activity in a cinema with a very, very large screen that you are sitting in front of, you're not able to keep everything on that screen within your field of vision at the same time. This actually forces you to make editing choices. You need to decide whether you're going to look over there at that bedside lamp, over there at that empty doorway, and you are primed to expect there at some point to be some kind of jump scare coming. If you're forced to make those editing decisions and make those conscious choices to look at different parts of the screen while you're just watching one long static shot, you are involved in the process. You are complicit. You are guilty. If you get caught out by the jump scare, it's because you were looking at the wrong part of the screen. And that's why on a huge screen, certainly the first Paranormal Activity movie can be quite an overwhelming experience. Now, if you compare that to watching that exact same movie on an iPhone or even on a, a relatively small home television, you're not being forced to make any decisions at all. You are able to keep the entire thing in your field of vision. You're probably slightly distracted as well. I mean, that's just the nature of, of home viewings. But particularly over takes that are fairly long for one static shot, your attention is actually likely to wander because you're not being forced to engage with it. Therefore, I would argue that if you've watched Paranormal Activity on a home entertainment system uh, or an iPhone or a tablet or something like that, you have actually watched a different film to somebody who's seen it on a big screen where they've been forced to make the editing choices and therefore feel engaged in the decision as to whether the movie makes them jump or not. The conditions under which we see a film do drastically affect not just whether we like it or not, but the actual nature of the images that are going in through our eyes. Years ago, while lecturing university students, I used to conduct an experiment. I'd split the group into two regarding whether or not they considered themselves people who were kind of hardened to horror stuff or whether they were generally nervous about horror stuff. I would then send the hardened horror people out and I would take the nervous group and I would say to them, all right, you've chosen the, the softer clip. I'm just going to screen this to you guys. Now, this is an example of a scene where there are potentially quite a few things wrong with it, where it sets out to be creepy, but it doesn't necessarily achieve that. Uh, I would then leave all the lights on. I would then screen a clip and I'd say to them, all right, so what's your feedback on it? Having set the clip up with the expectation that this was specifically targeted at more nervous students, that it wasn't scary, but it was something that failed to be scary, the feedback that I would generally get from the group would be, all right, well, this scene uh, isn't scary for this reason or that reason, it, it doesn't work, it, it takes place in broad daylight, the music uh, doesn't draw you in, you've got all of these kinds of responses. I'd then send those guys out, I'd bring in the hardened horror lot, and I'd say to them, all right, what I'm going to play to you is one of the more notoriously sinister moments from cinema. Uh, it has an unusual capacity to get under people's skin. It has an unusual capacity to unnerve. And quite a lot of people who've seen this clip report um, feeling uneasy for a while afterwards. I then give them the opportunity to leave the room if they chose to. I would then turn the lights down. I would then turn the volume up. I would screen the clip. I then ask for feedback after that, and they would usually say, whoa, okay, there was no uh, obvious violence within that clip. However, it still greatly unnerved me, and this is why. So the first group would have their reasons for why a particular clip didn't work. The second group, the hardened horror group, would have their reasons for why a particular clip did work. I'd then bring them all in together, and I'd get them to discuss it. And of course, uh, I'd show them the same clip. I'd show them the Mystery Man clip, from Lost Highway, the David Lynch movie. And the, the fact that the hardened horror side of the room 
had seen a, a clip that they found genuinely unnerving and the uh, lot who considered themselves more susceptible, more nervous about these things, had seen something that didn't scare them at all. When they found out that they'd actually seen the same clip, this prompted a lot of very interesting discussions because it was entirely about the way I'd set the clip up and the way that the expectations worked. So, the setup and the environment that you watch a film under definitely changes the film itself to such a huge degree, and we just kind of discard that. We tend to think of things, I think, quite a lot of the time as a film is a film is a film. Oh, if it, if it engages me, then surely it can overcome any of these things. But I think those two examples set up some interesting stuff, um, and it's something I always try and bear in mind, when, particularly when watching a movie for the first time. I'm going to do a few of these, uh, I think. So uh, hopefully I'll, I'll see you again soon and I'll talk about something else related to movies because that's the kind of guy I am. Subscribe. It's probably over here or something.